everyone. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. My guest today has been on the show before, and her name is Drina Burton, and she has this system that is taking the world by storm. So many people, like yesterday, Debbie Adler is saying, I already do yoga and Pilates, but now I'm addicted to fascia flow. Because ah. it's, yeah, it's, it's true. It's, it's, you have to see it to experience it. And this is an experiential class. And she's going to talk about how you can literally remove pain from your body with this system. You may know her as a talented vegan chef and cookbook author, and she still is, I assure you. But this is something in addition to the food, they can really, really help you with your fascia, which apparently some people don't know what that is. And she's going to tell you, please welcome back Trina Burton. Thank you, AJ. It's great to be back with you. You're a powerhouse. And as we were just saying, you're keeping up with all of this this week. So kudos to you. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. I mean, it's, uh, I, I'm so keen to kind of bring this to the plant-based world because I think we're very aware of what we're taking in obviously affects our bodies. And for those of us that are moving away from pain in a bigger sense, because we've changed the inflammatory foods in our bodies and we're eating much healthier to bring that down. But sometimes we still have pain points just because that's life, overuse patterns of movement, activities, sitting too long, driving, all of these things, it trains our fascia. And fascia is this 3D web connective tissue. For those who don't know, it permeates everything in our bodies. It's head to toe and it's under the skin, but it's also deeper into the body. It penetrates muscle fibers. Every fiber of a muscle is wrapped in fascia. It coats our bones. So it's deep in the body and we cannot get to those deep layers through outside in manipulation like massage. It's very painful to get to the deep layers. This activates the deep layers and creates a change in the fascia. The formula creates a change in the fascia that makes it healthier. It sloughs off dead dysfunctional fascia, makes the functional fascia healthier. So there's more slide and glide. We want to be sliding and gliding. Otherwise we're stuck. If we have sticky fascia, the muscles are trying to move, the bones are trying to move, but then other muscles have to come in and there's substitutions and we get pain. So that was my experience. I was already eating really healthy, but I had a lot of pain in my shoulders and my neck and in the low back. And I was doing a lot of treatments, which would help a little bit, but for a short period of time. And this took away the pain. It took a few months. Some things went away after a couple of weeks. Other things took a little longer. And now I'm experiencing all these other benefits, energetic benefits, because it connects to all systems in our bodies. When we think about the fascia so integrated, all the communications in the body move through the fascia, lymph flow, everything. So it's just this like fascinating, I call it fascinating, you know, <laughs> a little dorky, but uh, it's a fascinating system to work with because not only do you remove pain and feel good, then you start to notice your energy lifts and your digestion improves, your immunity, things like that. So it's not always about taking more turmeric or ginger <laughs> or more greens. You know, those things are wonderful. But when we have dense accumulated fascia in an area, we need to address the fascia. And this is the system that does it. Well, cool. Who invented it? Um, it is called, it's a loaded eccentric movement. So I discovered the system through um, Bob Cooley. He wrote a book called Genius of Flexibility, and people can find that on Amazon. And then I went to train with him and I've trained with some of his students as well. So he created the system. I'm not sure if he created the movement to begin with, but the system as a whole. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Debbie Adler was on yesterday because we asked her what she liked in the bundle and she said your course and that she was oh. now doing fascia flow. That's amazing. I love that. I'm so connected to my students right now. Like it, it warms my heart every time I hear one of their stories of how it's helping them. Because when you live with pain, it really dominates your days. Like it's all you think about and feel when you move. 
And it's not to remove pain to go out and run 5K, perhaps it might be, but it's for everyday activities like driving a car or reaching up to get a jar or bending over to put on pants. You know, we want to just not feel those pains. So yeah, I'm going to do a little movement with people today and I would really love everybody to do it, <laughs> not just watch. So um, do you want to get started with the movement? Do you Absolutely. And please forgive me for not following along with you, but I, I've got to do no. other things while I'm doing the show. You're managing a hundred things. At yes. Once. Yeah. So today I'm using a chair. And the reason I brought in a chair today is because sometimes I do these little clips on Instagram and Facebook and people see me working on the mat and they say, oh, I can't get down on my knees. But there are things we do on the chair and in the course. So I have two ebooks in the bundle and the fascia flow course. By the way, if you get my ebook or well, if you get the bundle, the purple people feeder soup in Drina's Kind Kitchen is one of my favorites. I just want to mention that because it's a purple sweet potato soup. <laughs> I have to talk about food a little bit. But this course is in the bundle and there is a chair class there. So I wanted to show people today how you can use a chair to do this work. We don't always have to be on our knees and there's knee friendly versions. So I have a chair and then I have two yoga blocks. We're going to be sitting on them at one point. And if you don't have blocks, then grab a couple of big books. We just want to lift our seats up a little bit so we can put our heel of our foot on the chair. Okay, so I'm going to move back and get started. So we're just going to put the blocks aside for a moment. <clears throat> and I'm just going to talk about the formula. So the formula fascia flow, <clears throat> pardon me, flow stands for F is flex, L is lengthen, O is observe. So that flow is the formula. We start with the muscle in a shortened position such as when we make a bicep curl, the muscles short and we contract. So we pull in, we make a flex and we keep that contract contraction of the muscle as we then lengthen it. This is the formula. And then we observe the O where the resistance fades. That's when we stop. We let the resistance go and we repeat the rep. And as we work through the reps with this resistance on the way out, that's what creates the magic change in the tissues. So everybody sit, just drop into the body for a moment. It's always good to settle down, notice the breath, notice the body, feel the sits bones on the chair and sense into where you're feeling nagging stuff today. So is it in the neck, the low back, just highlight a couple of areas and I always offer as well focus on something that feels great in your body today so maybe your digestion feels nice perhaps your immune system is feeling really good just anything to appreciate that feels good and then blink open your eyes. We're gonna stand for a moment and check in with the hips. So a lot of my students get stuff in the low back here around the sacrum and the hip girdle gets tight with time and it compresses in the sacrum. So put your hands on your waist and just make some hip circles in one direction and the other. When I used to do this um, before fascia flow, pre-fascia flow, I would feel so much pinching in around the sacrum. I never used to like to do it. And now it's all, I like to say, loosey goosey. it feels great. And then take a little dangle, notice the low back. And then come on up. Good, so we're gonna work into the low back and hip girdle now. So take a seat, cross your right foot over the left. Notice my right knee is in line with the right hip. It's not out here. So have it in line with the hip. Now our flex is pushing this right leg down towards the floor. So you're gonna feel it push into the left leg. Your knee is, you're not pushing into your knee, you're just above your knee. You push down, place your hands on your chair. And now this is the length that we bend the torso down towards the knee. So we're flexing, pushing down and bending over. So hopefully everybody's joining me and working this little system for about, you know, 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, it really is so 
incredible in the body, pushing down and bending over. So we're gonna do a few more just straight like this. So we do a number of reps. So this is our resistance, pushing down here. Observe where it starts to fade. Now let it go to come back, only resisting in this direction. Letting it go here, flex, push down, let it go to come back. Let's do two more. One more. Good, keep this figure four shape. Place your hands around the knee. Keep pressing the knee into the hands and take a few more dips down. So you're just pressing the knee into the hands now and still keeping the resistance as you bend over. You can relax it to come back up. Push here, knee into hands, dip down. Release. And let's do one more there. Good, now this time, keep that hold of the knee, press it into the hands, and now you're gonna slowly drag the knee towards the chest. Release, flex, push the knee into the hands, pull the knee into the chest, release. So the first movement we did, we are actually also connecting with energy meridians in the body as they are associated with Chinese medicine. So the first move connects to the gallbladder meridian in TCM, and this movement connects with the urinary bladder in Chinese medicine. So not only do we remove pain, we start to interface with organs in the body. And the urinary bladder governs the health of the bones in our bodies. So super important for those of us concerned about bone density, and this is strength training as well. Push knee into hands and pull it into the body. This one is one of my favorites, pushing down, dragging in. And you can hear my voice, my heart rate is picked up. We get a cardio response, we're strength training and we're changing the fashion. It's like everything. It's a um, what, triple whammy like that show from years ago. Pull in, Push down, it should feel thick, like you're moving through quicksand or mud, something thick. And one more, pushing down and dragging in. Good. So now we're gonna check in, come back to standing. And hands on the waist, little hip circles. So notice that right side versus the left. You can also arch the back, tuck tailbone, bend over the feet. And notice how it feels in that leg compared and the low back compared to the left. And roll up. We're gonna do the other side now. So sitting down, crossing left over right. So I'm mirroring you. So if you're aware of that, this is my right leg, but I'm mirroring you. So left over right, just above the knee, push down and we dip down. So now we're interfacing once again with this chain of fascia where the meridian for the gallbladder aligns. It runs up the side of the leg and actually comes all the way up the side of the body into the side of the head. So if we have tight fascia in the side of the leg in this area, and that's where the most volume is, so this is the area we address, it can translate to headaches. So I know myself, I was having a lot of tension in the side of the head around the neck into the right in the occiput area and the gallbladder flows really help loosen that because it was so tight it yanks if it's tight somewhere it pulls somewhere else so pushing down and bending down release it on the way up flex push down and come back up and these organs and meridians are also associated with seasons of the year. So for instance, we're coming up to spring and the gallbladder and liver are the organs of that season. So we can help nourish them through this work, not just with food, but also through energy with this work. Good, and now we interlace hands under the knee. Same thing, press down into the knee or into the hands and bend down. So this gives a little extra leverage. We feel a little more force with the knee and the cup of the hands as we bend down. Good. You're noticing your heart rate is up. It's all good. Sometimes when we are working dense areas like this, it feels like we're holding our breath and that's okay too. 
you really just let your breath move as it needs to. We're not regulating it or trying to change it. Good, last time pushing down. And now same thing, pushing knee into hands. And this time we slowly drag the knee up to the chest. We release it on the way down, flex. Resistance is pushing down into the hands. As we lengthen, observe where it fades, reset. Flex, push knee into hands, slowly drag up. And I'm working with you. <laughs> I'm not pretending here. Flex, lengthen, observe. But this has replaced my strength training. I no longer do strength training. This is my work. Um, when we do a lot of strength training, it really takes, um, it, it creates a lot of wear and tear on the joints. So this takes that out of the body, pushing down and dragging in. Good, that's our last one. And now we're gonna check in again. So just notice how the hips feel, low back. And we only did a couple of meridians. We did gallbladder and urinary bladder. And we're gonna sit and come into the upper body because everyone wants their shoulders and neck to feel good. So come into cactus, come down with the hands and up, bring all those together. Notice any pull in the chest here, how it's feeling. Arms overhead, what's your range of motion, hands behind. Bring your chin up and down and look over the left and over the right. So now we're gonna come into one side of work. So let's bring the right arm up. We did this last time, AJ. Bring your hand around, left hand, and it cups the outside of the elbow. So here's our traditional stretch. This is what we know from gym, you know, athletics as a kid, yoga, where we pull the arm over. That's not what we're doing. We're starting here, resist back with the arm, so the left arm is trying to go behind, pushing into the cup of the hand. Keep that resistance now as you drag the arm in front. Release it to start again. Flex, push arm back. Lengthen. Observe. Release. Flex, push arm back. Lengthen. Observe. Release. We're going to do another four here. And then we're going to sit on the blocks and do a couple of reps that um, are slightly different. This is working the large intestine meridian in Chinese medicine. Large intestine and lungs are the organs of the fall season. Let's say two more. Last one. Good, now find your blocks and sit on one or two. This is kind of fun actually, because you feel like a little kid on a big chair when you do this. <laughs> Always think of that show my kids used to watch, the big comfy couch. So we're gonna bend the left foot and bring it onto the chair now. So that's why we're on the blocks. Left arm comes inside the left knee. So find this leverage of the two points together. Right hand comes around, takes the back of the left wrist. So the left hand wants to stay up. It's resisting this way. And now the right arm is gonna push it down with resistance. Release it, we start again. Flex, hand is trying to go to the left. Right hand pushes down. The more we feel that engagement between the elbow and knee, we get more resistance as well. So a lot of times when we're new to this work, it's hard to find um, the appropriate amount of resistance so if I resist all my might, I'm not moving my hand. And that's because the fascial um, integration, the network is stronger than the muscles. And if you max out, you won't move your hand. So you have to dial it down to maybe a three or four out of 10. We flex, find that resistance, lengthen. And again, flex, lengthen. Good, and then take a few where we bring the right ear over to the right shoulder and notice what that gives you in the neck, in the back. Keeping the resistance on the way, right ear comes to right shoulder. Yeah, so this is connecting with the small intestine meridian in Chinese medicine. 
and really gets into those rotator cuff muscles that get dense with fascia. Good, a couple more. Last one. Good, now bring, first notice your shoulders. So I don't know if you can see this shoulder has softened down. My arm is externally rotating really nicely and I feel space here. So notice that in your body. Take our cactus, notice how that feels. Very spacious here, not so much here. How easy is it to move your arms now? Good. We're gonna do the other side. You can stay on the blocks if you want. Right arm comes up now in cactus. Reach around with the left, push back with the right, and the left hand begins to drag in front. So we're starting with shortened muscle here. And now we keep resistance as we lengthen. And this is changing the fascia from the inside out. It's a cellular change. It grabs the fascia, restructures it, makes it more healthy. And we continue to get a change overnight, even as we sleep. And I'll say after doing this work for a couple of years now, it gets better and better. So there was a time when I'd have to really keep on top of my tissues to keep the pain away. And now it's like, I do a little bit every day, 15 minutes, and I'm feeling amazing in all my joints. Left pushes back, right drags in front. Flex, push back, lengthen. And each time we get a better start position because the muscle's now working better. When the fascia is dense, it takes up real estate in the body and the muscles aren't working as well. And I also think that over time, you know, we talk about weight bearing activities and how important it is for our bones. Last one, I'm gonna go on a little, <laughs> a little soapbox moment here. Last one, good, shake out the arm, bend the right knee left, pardon me, right elbow comes inside the right knee. So now the right hand is trying to go right. Left hand comes around, takes the back of the wrist, resisting this way. And then the left hand is pushing it down. Find that integration of elbow into knee and pushing down. And we'll leave it after this one. I had a couple more planned, AJ, but we'll finish up after this one and then see if there are questions. No, but please feel free. You can go a little bit longer. Okay. I don't need okay. to rush you. It's just, it's very soothing. Just even though I'm not doing it, just watching it is very relaxing for me. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's really good to hear. But I was saying about, keep going with me, guys. I'm just going to go on a little talk. So resist on the way down. Let it go to start again. Resist on the way down. Let it go to start again. How over time, most of us don't lose weight in life. Like most of us tend to put on weight, not everyone, but yet we need to do a lot of weight bearing activities to support our bones, which makes me wonder why the bones aren't weight bearing. And it's very possible it's because the fascia is weight bearing at that point. It's taking up so much real estate in the body that the bones aren't getting that connection that they need. They aren't being activated. Last couple, let's bring the left ear to the left shoulder. So we're back in the small intestine here. So important for absorption of nutrients. So, you know, it's not just what we eat, but how well we absorb it. And small intestine is our big, big part of our nutrient absorption. The stomach tends to mulch and the small intestine is a big part of the absorption equation here. Last one. Good. Shake out arms. Roll shoulders. Take a couple of breaths. Just notice how that feels and come up into cactus. Notice your chest. So we didn't open here at all. We didn't do any of this stuff that we tend to do in like gym class or, you know, we know from phys ed or even yoga but we're very spacious here. And that's because these muscles in the back are now working better so we can open. It's really kind of cool. Like I love, I love how every time I'm surprised, <laughs> rotate through every time it's like, wow, that really works. Yes, it does come together and above. Good. And then take that little look up and see if you have a little more space to look up and back down. 
Good, and then take a seat off the block. So we'll just drop into the body again for a couple of minutes. No Can I read you a nice comment uh, from Samara? I've been practicing Drina's Flow and Go program for almost two weeks, and it has already made such a difference for me. Truly amazing to connect with my body in this way. So grateful. And you guys, you get the course in the bundle. If you'd like to buy it from Drina, there's a link below in the chat and the show notes. And there's a question from Holly. Where is the pushing coming from when you're seated and your hands are on the chair? Oh, this one that we were doing here. You're pushing the top leg down towards the floor. So it's pushing into the lower leg, but you don't want to be on the knee joint. So you just slide the foot leg up a little bit over the knee and you're feeling the leg push down. That activates this IT band area here. And then when we bend, that's creating the lengthening and then we release. So it's a push down towards the floor. Does that make sense? Yep, so thank you. You're fine. Yeah. And so, you know, sometimes you feel a lot of energy pulsing after. It's a really nice sign that you've opened up energy because energy flows in the path of least resistance. And if we have a lot of stagnant fascia, the energy is not flowing. So if we have a lot of stagnant fascia in the back of the shoulder, could be the energy is not flowing well to the small intestine. If we have a lot of stagnant fascia here, it could be that we're not getting much energy to the gallbladder, the liver's in here. So we then start to um, find this entryway into the movings and, and the associations with the organs in a way that we've never had before. And this is really the only way to address the fascia. Like we have all of these methods to strengthen the core or you know, cardio exercise. This is what interfaces with the fascia. And it's until we do this, we've never really interfaced with it. Thanks. Any other questions? Did anybody have another question about the movement or? No, there's a comment saying that you have a video that addresses tech neck and it's, oh. she uses it every day. And Lisa says, I've been doing fascia flow since Drina was on this channel before. Great. I'm so glad you found her oh, here. Nice. Who is that? I've uh, got members let's maybe. see. Lisa just says Lisa. Thank you. That's amazing. And thank you, Samara. Yes, Samara just started two weeks ago. And um, like, it's amazing to hear that you could be walking around with pain. And then in two weeks, it starts to clear up. And then it's sustainable. It's not like you go for an appointment and it helps it for a day. It's with you. You then have the tools to come back to it and keep on top of the tissues. Nice. So you don't really need a lot of equipment to do this. Nope. Um, I use, sometimes I'm on the mat and we work on the floor. I either am on the mat or we have the chair. I have a lot of, you know, people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, even um, beyond. And so sometimes they don't want to be on the mat. So we work on the chair and there's always a way we can do the movement. It doesn't have to be on the mat. So just, you know, there's always something we can do. That's so cool. Hey, I noticed on your YouTube channel, you're making other contributors recipes and that's getting me excited because I haven't got, I haven't had time to go through everything and I want to make the recipes that you made because you're pointing out some really good one. You know, it's, it's funny. I'm sure you have this experience too. When you open up the bundle, it's overwhelming at first because there's so much there and it's like, it takes a moment. You almost have to look at it, leave it, come back to it when you can digest it a little. I I spent the first few days just kind of looking at it and then certain things flashed at me like you go oh yeah that looks like something I want to try and so the ones that really were like a bright light I was like okay I'm going to spotlight something from that ebook and um yeah I've been making let's see I did a lot of baking at first and then I said I've got to do some savory <laughs> so I've done quite a bit from healthy Emmy's cookbook um, you had, um, the gal on yesterday, you had her on from the sweet cookbook and her name is just escaped me for a moment. A Amanda sick. Amanda sick. Yes. I did her raw carrot cake bars. They're delicious. I did, um, 
Nathan's barbecue dressing. If I had a dehydrator, I would have done Alyssa's, uh, Melissa's um, wraps because they're amazing. I've done your Goodman shoes. And Rebecca Stoner's pizza ebook is a must see. Well, she's on today at three o'clock. Yeah, I hope she's doing pizza because that ebook is a must see. I think that's a brilliant little ebook. It's got oil free doughs. It has gluten free, spelt gluten free. She has a red sauce. I did the um, barbecue pulled mushrooms. I think I have that video coming up tomorrow on pizza. And she's got a cashew matzo. She has a dessert pizza. Like a little brilliant gems of ebooks that you would, I wouldn't have come across that one myself. I know, you know that's why a lot of people say they don't even care if they sell any bundles. They just like getting the bundle, <laughs> you know, for being a contributor. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to explore. And I'm not one that tries a lot of other people's recipes normally because I don't want to be too influenced as a creator myself. You know, I I sort of want to stay in my own mind space with it a little bit, maybe to a fault, but I don't want to be too influenced. Um, so this is my license to have a little fun and try everybody's recipes, you know? Yeah. Oh, here's, a, it looks like you're having fun with it. Kat is asking, if is there hope if you are so stiff that you can't cross your legs? Absolutely. Yeah. I have a student who she was going to be on with us when we did our last session, but I mixed up the time and screwed it up on her. <laughs> um, she has been with me for about eight months and her doctor told her before she started fascia flow, she was in a great deal of pain. She could not walk across her room without pain. And her doctor told her it would only get worse. Like that one that shuts down your body. No one wants to hear that. You just like mentally shut down, emotionally shut down. And two, it's, you know, who knows that? Who knows that that's going to be the outcome? So I, I already knew her through the plant-based world. And I said, will you just please try it? So she's been working with the system and she says her pain is 85% better. She's taking walks on the beach. She's having... All these other, again, energe energetic like shifts now that she's been working with it for a period of time. So absolutely, it's never too late. And what happens with, you know, most of us in traditional stretching, we open to an end range and, and that's what we've learned. And when we do that, it creates like little tears in the tissues and, and really gets into the joint space. And then the body has to go back in and repair that like a Band-Aid. And it does that by putting down more connective tissue, which is fascia. Now, fascia is a big thing, but when it's dense, it becomes uncooperative. So when we work with this system, we become truly flexible. So we're not just lengthening. The muscles can shorten better. They can rotate better. So we gain true flexibility, not range of motion so if you're feeling really stiff it's it might be because i don't know we've done a lot of end range stretching but the short to your question is yes <laughs> there is always hope try the program nice and by getting the bundle they can try it without having to sign up for you know a monthly subscription or anything like that yeah. And, you know, actually, that's why I joined the bundle. Um, like I've done the bundle with you before. And last year I got very, very busy with this work. I was doing a lot of trainings and I have students who are with me and they are monthly subscribers and they come to my live classes. But I did have a lot of people ask for something they could purchase once and not have a monthly subscription. Right. Due to budgets, et cetera. And I thought if I can get this together in time for the bundle, that's going to be great. So that's what I did. You you inspired me, really. Well, I'm, I'm glad you did it because in yeah. addition, for those that love recipes, and there's over 2000 in the bundle, you have your Simply Plants book, which has your famous peanut butter cups and banana chocolate chip cakes. So there's lots there. Holly's saying, I love the bundle. I purchased last year also. Thank you, Holly. And Marlene says, I was on the fence, but I'll buy it now just for this. My neck and shoulders have been hurting for a week now. And it helped. Thank you, Drina. A page says Drina is, I love Drina. She's amazing. And uh, Liz says, 
Dream is Eat, Drink, and Be Vegan is the first cookbook I ever bought, and I still love the black bean and orange hummus as a go-to recipe. It's a total crowd pleaser. Happy to see you here. Well, if you want to make Drina happy, then use Drina's link to buy your bundle if you're going to buy it anyway, and the link is in the chat in the show notes. That's so sweet. I just got little goosebumps. That goes back to like, that book was 2007, I think. That's so amazing. Lovely. Thank you. No, yeah, you, you, you got me on it this year, AJ. You were like, I think you've got a good product to share. And I was like, I do. I just need to package it. So. Right. Exactly. And this will get more people to find out about it, especially because not everybody wants to join something right away, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we deserve to feel good in our bodies. I don't believe anymore. And I did. I was starting to believe I'm 53 and I was starting to believe in my 40s that aging meant pain. And I don't believe that anymore. And I don't want people to feel that that's what is in store as we age, because that's not what life is meant to be. So um, you can throw that idea out the window now. Nice. Well, thank you, Drina. Thank you. I'm going to try it one day. I'm not just saying that when I'm just not doing, when I'm not doing six shows a day, but it sounds like something I can totally do. Yeah. Anyone can do it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me on AJ. It's my pleasure. It's always good to see you. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. We have a short break and we'll be back at one o'clock with another wonderful bundle contributor. She's never been on the show before. Her name